All right, Matthew the Clerk, listen, I have a, a surprise for you. I am oh. remote. I am it's... remote. Can you believe it? I'm remote. I thought you were going to say it's February and that's my birthday month. So I was like, yes. Oh, surprises. is it your birthday month? Well, happy birthday to you. You're like yeah. like 13 or something. You're some kind of young guy. I'm 23, but I look 41 because of oh. the night shifts I do. <laughs> oh, that's coming up. There'll be another EPM night article shifts. about that, which we will talk about. But this EPM 2019 February article is called Difficult Conversations with Patients. It's similar to the Kerry Gardner article. This one's by Dr. Silverman. It's it's again about uh, about how to do things, uh, how to go with the current. That's what I feel like this is like how to go with the current. You can come in and say like, yeah, your potassium's a seven, go home. And then like they're gonna go home, fill out a bad survey, everybody feels bad. Or you can like get a little more sophisticated about how you talk to people. This one is particularly interesting because he's talking about scripting and like bullet pointing things and stuff like that. But how did, yeah. what did you get out of it? It's this like thing? about communicating with the patient. I. I, I have no problem explaining to the patient why I cannot get an MRI of their spine from the ER. Yeah. <laughs> the one the, the one that gets complicated for me every time and I feel like just a ugh is when I become the billing agent and they're like because I don't know but yet I'm getting paid to do what I'm doing and they're like hey I don't want an ambulance cuz that's a lot of money or hey my insurance won't cover that or hey how much is this going to cost? And I have no clue, yet I feel a little responsible because, well, I'm their point person here. So that's yeah. where it gets complicated, and uh, it's tough. Mark has some tough scenarios, like when you're like, no, sorry, you got to take an ambulance. That's the way it is. And But I get it from the patient standpoint. It's like, that's, a, that's mucho dinero. Yeah. Um, yes, I agree with that. Actually, the same thing popped up in my mind, too, which is that I usually have a script of my own for, like, you don't want to be admitted. Here's why you need to be admitted. But... I don't have a good script, which is good to read this article on, uh, you don't want to go in the ambulance. And yes, in a perfect world without liability, you probably don't need to go in an ambulance, but I can't do that. I can't, that's not the protocol. I can't do it. I can't help your, you know, your co-pays and all that different stuff. And so that's where it got me to. That's the most challenging part is when you're sort of like stuck in a system that you'd love to help, but you can't help. Sometimes I just try commiserating with them. I'm like, look, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Uh, healthcare in America is yeah, broken. Yeah. yeah. And like you, I'm going to try to fix it as a physician and maybe by voting. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, tough yeah. one. Good one, Matthew. So Declerc. somber. Let's, uh, let's move on. Let's go vote. To the next. Let's go vote. Go vote. Go, that's what we should be saying. Rock the vote. <laughs>